Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Yeah, it's currently 48 degrees there at Yellowstone. Supposedly no wind, but the camera sure is shaking. USGS is reporting 40 earthquakes within the last week. Nothing today, but I believe about three yesterday. Let's see, a 0 0.4, the Madison River area. Uh, let's change this to universal time and to uh, miles in depth. So that was 3.2 miles in depth. They're also reporting a 0 0.7. That's up there by Hedgen Lake, up there by that locked block area where they had that devastating earthquake in, what, 1950-something, 9.2 miles in depth. They're also reporting a 1.0, also in the Madison River area, uh, 3.4 miles in depth. Oh, there was actually more than that yesterday. It had a small swarm, it looks like, a 0 0.2. Uh, 3.2 miles in depth, a 0 0.4, yeah, they had a small swarm, a 1.3 also by Hedge and Lake, 5.3 miles in depth, another one in the Madison River area, a 0 0.3, 3 miles in depth, they're saying this is a quarry blast, um, that was the day before yesterday, so we got, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven earthquakes for yesterday they keep saying that yellowstone is subsiding well i haven't seen any signs of that but this is the borehole for the madison river area and kind of going up a little bit yep top is north and bottom is east i believe and this is all the earthquake data on the disc and this is for the last 30 days. Now it looks like it's going up to me. What do you think? Do you think it's subsiding, sinking, or do you think it's going up? And then we'll come down to the disk for the last 30 days. And since they started keeping track of what's going on. All right, Madison River area. And this is a borehole, a very deep well under the ground. Here we have the borehole for Yellowstone Lake. Um, this one here is by Grant. That's kind of like on the uh, western side of uh, Little West Thumb. And this is for the last week. Lots of dots means lots of shaking going on. The last seven days. And we know that the lake is tipping. Okay, yeah, look how spread out these dots are. Wow. Okay, and let's go down for the last... 30 days. Okay, slowly rising. Top is north, bottom is east. And then the disc. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then since they started keeping track of everything, the gaps are where they uh, reset the machine. Borehole 950 for the Norris Geyser Basin. Top is north. Yeah, that one's going down a little bit. Bottom is east. Yeah, kind of, kind of, well, it went up a little bit, and now it's subsiding a little bit. And this is for the last seven days. Yeah, it shows you the trend. Yeah, going towards the west. And then the last 30 days. Yeah, top is north. That went down, but east is rising. Okay. And then we'll come down to when they... Yeah, look at the disc. That's been doing that weird angle for a while. Okay, and this is when they started keeping track of everything. Now, does that look like it's subsiding? It doesn't to me, but, you know, maybe there's something wrong with my eyes. All right, here we have an image of Yellowstone Lake. This is as of 2.30, it looks like, p.m. local time, mountain time. Yeah, they still got snow and they still got ice on the lake. They uh, found a woman there over the weekend that was dead in her car and um, arrested her boyfriend and found a bunch of drug paraphernalia in the car and with him. Evidently, um, the car was off the road and um, got stuck in a snowbank. And you can see why 
It probably got stuck. There's still snow there. Oh, the camera just updated. It's supposed to uh, rain there at Yellowstone. Okay, so it'd be uh, 2.45 p.m. local time. And a current view. Looks like we got some buffalo. With all the money that they have, you would think, looks like I paused it, you would think that they would get a better camera. Yeah, well, don't want to put a lot of money into something that they don't maintain. But you can still see the dead trees back up over here. And then the increase in dead trees over here. If you follow that fault line, yeah, it goes all the way across. And these are dying because of the gases that are currently coming up from Yellowstone as it recharges for another eruption. And who knows when that will happen. Four monitors I downloaded data from. Okay, we got the borehole 208, which is Yellowstone Lake by the fishing bridge where um, Yellowstone Lake empties out into the Yellowstone River. Then we have Little West Thumb. Looks like there's one marked in red there, maybe. And the Madison River. I noticed that the Madison River uh, monitor is kind of off skewed the last couple hours. And then we have the western boundary, which is showing a influx of uh, magma coming in. Let's go to the spectrograms. And we'll check out what it was showing when I pulled the files. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, um, western boundary. Yeah, that's still showing a lot of uh, magma coming into the system. And I've talked about that and I keep talking about it. I think there's a crack there, which is allowing the magma to come in. So let's go to Little West Thumb. We'll make that one bigger. And this one here is marked in red, meaning that the computer picked up an earthquake. It's not being reported. It's a small quake, a magnitude 1.49. Okay, we'll go back to the spec. Well, let's take a look at the seismic signature. Yeah, we got uh, volcanic and harmonic tremors and tectonic. Yeah, and then, oh, we got another one down here at the bottom where I pulled the files. Marked in red, a little popping. Let's see, right there. Yeah. Yep, some magma came in. As you know, um, Little West Thumb's got that crack down there at the bottom of the lake with a cap of rhyolite. And, um, yeah, it's trying to come up. So as the ground rises up, it gets more brittle. Um, yep, and kind of like glass, it just kind of crack, crack, crack. All right, so that one's marked in red. Let's see, what else do we have here? All right. Here we got Madison River. We got one marked in red. Is that the same time as the other one? I'll have to check. There's a signature. Nope, this is at 716. And this one at Little West Thumb was at 450. That one's just a little microquake. Um, a magnitude 0 0.78. All right, let's come up a little bit and see what else we can see. Again, this is the Madison River area, and I only pulled about, um, I believe, 16 hours worth of data. Okay, let's go over here. Just kind of look around here. See what we can see. Not a lot of activity. So let's go to the western boundary. Let me close this out. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. And I don't see anything in red. We do have, um, yeah, magma coming in. I'll pull that up for you. Heated water. Interesting, one of the uh, hot springs they did research on, um, they found that it probably has, I believe it's doubled the size of an Olympic swimming pool of hot water. And when it erupts, it only loses about 3% of its water during an eruption. So I wonder if that's the same for the other um, geysers. Yeah, you can see the line of melt. And once again, remember, these lines of melt represent pockets of melt. 
um, some of which are only about 600 feet under the ground where people are walking. Okay, and let's look at some of these seismic signatures. It looks like all, yeah, either fault movement or tectonic in movement. And we'll come down here where it was showing. Yep, the same. All right, borehole 208 for um, the fishing bridge there at Yellowstone Lake. Let's take a look at this, what it was showing. Yeah, this and Little West Thumb would give us a good indication about that fault. Yeah, see the line of melt there? Yeah. I don't see anything marked in red. Just some small, small quakes. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at the seismic signature. Okay, we'll come down here to this one. And this one, where we had blobs of magma coming in. It'll probably get more active maybe tomorrow. Let's just pull this. Yep, looking pretty good today. A little calm. This small quake up over here that I'm showing you probably came from the um, Snake River Plateau over by... Uh, Sawtooth or Chalice, Idaho, because of the P wave that's on there. Yep. Here at Madison River, you can see we got some small shakes going on here. Let me go with the signature. A little bit of a P wave on that one. And there's another small one there. Too small there. Yep. Yep, so everyone can enjoy their picnic. It looks quiet. Now they're zooming in. I remember when they used to have a little bit better cameras and you can see the cliffs and once in a while you'll see the rock slides going on down here in the back. Yeah. Piss poor cameras. I mean, really. So what are your thoughts? Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.